1974. So I can say that with some certainty that Giuseppe, his father, was living at least when Carlo was conceived, not necessarily when he was born, so 1873, and had died before 1905. So I now have a 32-year window to look for a death record. That stinks on ice because you got to go one year by one year by one year. Going through that, in, you saw the index I showed you? It's the same kind of index for the death records. They don't have anything that says, here he is 20 years different. You got to go year by year. So looking for death records is probably the last way you want to spend your time doing this, unless somehow somebody has told you that he died in 1885, which happens to be when he, he died. Nobody told me that. I just had to hunt for it. Um, so anytime you have a foo or a D for anybody, you at least can mark in your computer or your papers or however you want to rate, keep track of it, I at least know Carlo Latouri lived as, as up to 8, 1905, and I at least know that his father died prior to 1905 and, and after his birth, whatever that is. In this case, if I'm starting out and this is all I have, I don't know he's born in 1874. That, that piece of information would have eluded me until I would have found one of his siblings on a normal record. Any loaded questions after all that fun? 1658, by the way. Write that image number down because that's where we found it. Oh, by the way, we're not done with the record yet. So there was born a baby of the sex masculino. Okay, the good news is because of the way they write their Fs, you can't possibly mix those up. Okay, it's not a guessing. You look at this and, uh, okay, it is an O. If, you, if I didn't tell you this was Domenico, would you have made Domenico out of that no. monster mess? Okay, now you would have looked over here. It's written a little bit nicer. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so somebody else wrote the title pages and somebody, wrote the, somebody else wrote the, the record. Okay, so... Uh, what? Excuse me. Yeah. Why did you go to begin with? Why did you go to the image that's more clear that spells the name of the person who was born? That's what we're looking for initially. So mm -hmm. why not go up to that image first? And meaning, meaning this part here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can see. Yeah. They, the they might, they might both be written by the same person, and they might both look like John. It may be illegible in both instances. That's absolutely possible, sure, yeah. But that, excuse me, the record yeah. on the far right side of the page is the name of a person whose birth you're searching. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm so, going to take the easiest path. I would never, I'm showing you how bad the handwriting is as okay. a teacher, right. but I'm certainly, yeah, I know from the index it was very clearly Domenico Latouri, and from the, yeah, this is absolutely... That's, Okay. Yeah, oh, I, I'm not taking the wrong path. The wrong path is going to number 334 and finding out that it's Costantino Dante, who is related to me, but not my grandfather. Right. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, I just want you to see that this is... No, I appreciate the detail. There's no question about it. Yeah, yeah. What? The quick... The oh, the quick, yeah. Half, yeah, well, you, I wouldn't be here if... if I'm looking for Dominic. I found Dominic. You I know, found Dominic. Yeah, I don't have to. No, I don't have to convert this into Dominic. It's it's obvious, and he's the only Latouri in this town. That that family, and again, I, you learn this after you've done this a while. My, that family, uh, his father was born in Trajano, but beyond that, they were born in another town called Noicatero. And so only this one family of Latouris popped up in Trajano. So if you see a Latouri, it's them. It, they, that's too easy, okay? You saw all the La Joyas that were up there. We got a Via Vito La Joya out here, out by, across the parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, and he's from Caporso. That's another town nearby. But there's 12, 10, 15 La Joyas in the town. So if I got to look for all the kids of that family, I got to check all 15 until I find one and go, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not, 
I'm not trying to make this more difficult than it is because, you know, the, there'd be a stampede for the exits, believe me. Um, now down here, it does mention some um, um, witness, two witnesses. You're going to find out that there were guys that had very little to do in town, and they were witnesses for everybody. <laughs> um, they just sat there in the mayor's office and said, yep, you know. Um, you need witnesses from a birth record if you're dealing with American records from like the first half of the 19th century, where you really don't, you don't sometimes even get the parents sometimes on a birth certificate in the middle of farm country, okay? Everybody, the mayor knew who it was. They didn't count on we were gonna look for them 150 years later, so they didn't write it down. But now you look for, okay, here's the witnesses, that's the brother-in-law, that's the sister, okay. Now it makes, you can make sure that you got the right family of John Smith in, uh, you know, Paducah, but, they give you the, um, you know, Costantino. I can speak for Costantino Mazzocchi and Vito Carbonara. He's 60, he's 70. I can speak for the fact that those are not close relatives of the Laturis, the Santo Liquidos, or the Olivo family because I've been doing this. They are related somehow. Maybe they're neighbors. But I'm, all I'm telling you is that over the 30 years I've done this, I haven't cared once for who the witnesses are. I do care on the uh, um, naturalizations. I care about the witnesses there, but they have addresses right there. You know their neighbors in the old neighborhood. That's a good place to get an address. Mm -hmm. So we have all this legal mumbo jumbo afterward. And honestly, I, know I have had almost no reason to care about it in all the years I've researched. I, I care, I'm just gonna sum summarize I care about that original date because I know that the birth date is going to be related to it. So I care about August 15th, 1905 momentarily. I normally care about who the father is. I'll, I'm going to skip a record or two and hope we find one that matches up. And I care about, we got the mother, the mother's always here. And if the father's not up at the top, the father's here next to her, below her, whatever, uh, and then the name. Um, one thing you might find, okay, in this particular case, you don't find it. Here it says Domenico Latouri. It is absolutely possible that here it will say Domenico Francesco Paolo as three first names. There, it might not be a precise match, but it's going to tell you that, okay, this kid got some extra names. You're going to I've got entire families where every daughter was named Maria something. Maria Lucrezia, Maria Angela, Maria this, Maria that. I mean, they, I'm sure that house had a picture of the Virgin Mary in it, and everybody got named for Mary. Uh, so sometimes it'll be Maria Latouri, but down here it'll be Maria Lucrezia Latouri. So that you, you could run into that. Let me see another record on this. <coughs> so the next one, Anna Francesca Volpe, 35. So you got another, oh, that's that family. Oh. <laughs> Sua legittima unione con Nicole. No, I, again, she's, no, she, that is the mom. She's the, twice we got the mother or grandmother in here. She's 35. And don't be surprised, by the way, if you trip over a 46-year-old mom, that one that's in there on the other record. So it's saying, yep, she's definitely married to Nicola Ramondi. The Nick Ramondi that uh, did, they used to do the, um, maybe they still do the uh, opera scholarship thing. Mm -hmm. That's his grandson, not through this, not through this woman. That's a sibling. But uh, see, Maria Concilia, so that, that one. But I'm looking for one with the father in the... Sono Comparso. Maria La, La Riccia, se, Riccia, 70. Okay, so three in a row. Dad doesn't have a home. 
Okay. Here's the, here's a not homeless dad. Okay. Oh yeah, let's show you these. So different person, unrelated, but here's a little widget tacked on in here. What is that? Take a look at it. Let me get a drink. Is that when they got married? That is exactly correct. Because I'm still in 1905 births, obviously. Mm -hmm. So that's just an update. That's an update that says that on the November 12th or December 11th. December 11th. Very good. December 11th is correct. Because in Europe, they put the date before the month. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. When you get a date like that where it is in number order and both of them could be months, that's they got married on December the 11th. And uh, so they were married. So um, this person, Raffaella Rubino, married La Gioia Vincenzo. Yes, they flipped those a lot too in Trajano. So now you've got a marriage record for this particular, okay, we didn't get a marriage record for my grandfather because he got married in Chicago, number one, and not every one of them gets this written in there, but when they go to get married, somebody goes to City Hall and says, well, let's check that birth certificate. Now, if Raffaella went in in 1932 and said, I want, you, I want to get married, well, let's check your birth certificate. Whoa, you got married in 1927, and she'll be like, yeah, he morte. Vincenzo La Gioia Morte, and she'd have to tell him to go find the um, death certificate for him so she could marry again. Okay. The number on the left hand side there, the record number, or what? Record number up here. No, to, no, no. To the left hand side of the date of the marriage. What is that? That says Adi. Oh, Adi, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so. So it gives you just saying that on that date, that's now the date of the marriage. That's not nothing to do with going to the mayor's office or whatnot. I understand. Yeah. There's no record number. There's just a sometimes there. Very good question. Sometimes there will be a record number, and if there is one, then you can you know once you find the 1927 Trajano marriages on a different film, once you're there, it's like okay, record number 49. Well, then you can hop to 49 a little more easily. Sometimes they do have that, yes. In this case, they don't. It's There's not that many. But here's, so Raffaella Rubino, again, I, I'm only showing this to you so you can see that et comparso, Michele Rubino. Now there's not a guarantee that that's the father, but most of the time it's gonna be the father. Now you get an age, he's 36. And he was born, or no, she was born up here at the top, Trinici Augusto, Del di Trinici di Corrente Mese. So she was born on the same day they went to the, to the mayor's office. So it looks like 3.30 in the morning is when the baby was born, and they got into the mayor's office at 10.45 that same morning. So that was a, they, they took a nap when they got home. I, that, that's what I would have done. So the father's up here, and he's 36, and down below, Da Angiola. Okay, well, you won't know the surnames of the town, but. Yeah, no one's going to get it. If you, unless you're from Trajan, maybe Anna would get it because she's from a nearby town. But it's Crudele. C R U D E L E. Suamolia. So you don't get her age. They almost never give the mother's age, which is unfortunate. That's the wife, right? That's the that's the wife, that's the mother. And feminile. So you use that to confirm. You know, you could you could easily have two kids in the same family um, named uh, you know feminine and masculine variations on the same name, and you might think, oh, I found grandpa. Well, better double check, okay? That's not grandpa. So. It's gonna be Dominica. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, well, here the, here the handwriting is beautiful. I mean, the F's are a little weird, but the A is obvious. Yeah, the A is obvious, and again, yeah, you can see it. So you can sell that's that same handwriting. <coughs> so, I mean, I'm, I will, I will explain that before, 
from 1866 to 1874. These records have no form. They are written in longhand, every word, no pre-printed anything. Okay, you will you will have to work with those. You'd be nice. The uh, one person I was talking to here had an 1890 for her grandfather, and the grand the grandfather's dad was 40. She gets to leapfrog those horrible handwritten records and go right to uh, the formats before 1865 are similar in wording but different in appearance. Okay, and the index typically has the date and the parents in the index. That saves you a lot of time. Okay, I, 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 I'll probably show you guys a lot of that stuff on the fourth advanced topic week because if you're starting your genealogy, you're probably not back to the 1850s, 40s, 30s. You might be, I don't know. But um, you should get a little familiar. They change the formats every few years just to annoy us. Okay. A quick preview of the next is That's a good question. Quick preview. Well, I, I, I've been listing it as advanced topics, but there, um, what we haven't done yet, we have not gone through a marriage record. We have not gone through a death record. So we should do that, that look a little bit like these. And um, I want to talk about the Aligati records. And um, if you want me to um, explain a, a, an overview of the Antonati website so you can at least see what's in there, I'll be more than happy to do that next month. And uh, when we get done with that, we're probably going to need a fifth month, but I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, that's it, it, it's going to be... I may just throw things open and say, what do you guys need help with and, and do some of that. And as, as Dominic said, I'm going to hang around for anybody who wants to go through something that they're having a specific problem with. Okay, round of applause for Dan. Thank you. Thank you. You're getting in line first. Good move. Uh, I just have a Sure. Your articles are not in the Fronnoy, but they're on the Fronnoy website? Yeah. Uh, There's a jump to the website. Yeah, fronnoy.com.